I don't know, I just had some stuff on my mind that I kind of wanted to say. I don't really know how to say this, it's kind of weird. Boom, what's going on guys? So this is the beginning of the vlog. I can't be really loud right now. Sorry if it's kind of echoey. I'm currently in like my bathroom right now, but there's people sleeping in my house, so yeah, kind of have to be quiet. But right now it's like 7 a.m. and uh, Landon is going to come pick me up and we're going out of town. It's the last hurrah before school. School starts next Monday and so that's less than a week and so we got to do something. So we're going somewhere special. I did the same vacation with Landon back in March, I want to believe. I couldn't take my computer with me and I couldn't vlog. Uh, but now I'm going to try to daily upload while I'm traveling. And I'm actually super stoked for that because who doesn't want to freaking vlog? In California, yes, we are going to California. I believe we're going to Oceanside or Carlsbad. Not completely sure yet. I think we're going to go to both, visit both while we're there. Um, but yeah, right now I just got to get my shoes on and hurry and get ready because London is coming. I don't want him to be waiting on me. Let's go. Are you ready, man? Bro, I'm ready. Not anymore, though, bro. We freaking got robbed. You want to tell them the, well you got to tell them the full story. Okay, so we got chips, but we don't have candy. Okay, so we wake up, and I guess my dad got the stash of like candy, chips, the whole shebang. I'm like, heck yeah. So I blast in the car, you know, pop over the console to grab all the candy. It's gone. It's gone. We're like, who the heck took candy? The only thing we're coming up with, we've talked to everybody in the family. Nobody took the freaking candy. The car was unlocked the whole night because like there was nothing important in here. Somebody broke into the car and took the candy. They, they popped open the console to see if there was anything important and just found candy and decided to take it and run. We missed that that's, that's the only One That's bag. the only thing we have that was in the... It was in like idiots, the that's the best stuff. <laughs> this guy might have a Look at that! Look at the ocean! Look at it! Look at it! The AC broke so we uh, had the windows down. We're almost there. We'll be there in like 20 minutes. What do you think? That's exactly High five. Splendid. High five. <laughs> Anyways, see you at the hotel. Boom, oh, man. We made it. <laughs> we made it. We, all right, we're at the hotel right now. We got, we get our, everything loaded up. We're, I got to grab right here so little Lando can push and I steer. Oh, dude, we're like in like a separate room, but like in a separate room in a separate. <laughs> Do you want to come help? You know what? Let's see how far you can make it without you. Without you? <laughs> see, we kick him out. Kick him out? Hey, Dylan, go sleep in the sailboat. No. Push, Dylan, you're not doing much. Come on, man. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> on the door. Quick room tour. There's a door, there's a couch, there's a bed. Boom. How, did, how was that, Dylan? Hey, who lost the dollar bill? Oh, I need me. Thank you, thank you. How much do you love me? How much do you love me? <laughs> not that much. <laughs> what if I let it go? <laughs> you owe me a dollar. I think it's worth it. <laughs> You owe me a dollar. <laughs> I dropped this off. <laughs> like, no joking, I didn't even film it. <laughs> Here, Dylan. Landon's gonna send a kickflip in the hotel. Just think about something. Last time you got hurt, the minute you got down here. Yeah, but he got Oh, hurt. you just, bro. He got hurt because it was on a Sunday. 12. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh baby, oh baby, just jump, I just did it all. <laughs> what are we doing today first, guys? We're gonna go we're to gonna the go ocean, to or what are we gonna do at the ocean? Chillax, or are we gonna like swim? See, this or, is the like, nice thing about having skateboards. Board? Then we can just like ride to the beach. <laughs> Except I can't ride a skateboard. Yeah, you can. It's just like a longboard. I can't ride. <laughs> you can't, no, dude. It's just like a ripstick, but a little bit harder to ride. This is harder to ride than a ripstick. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Dude, I agree with Dylan. You straight up push on a skateboard. You straight up don't even have to move your feet off on a ripstick. Do you have any sisters that are my age? Preferably single, but hey, I can still score. My mom <laughs> still score if there's a goal. <laughs> this is freaking Titanic. <laughs> Our trip 
Yo, send it, send it. Oh, snap. Ah, yeah. Oh, I fine, man. So right now we just got down to the beach. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bryce, getting it. Oh, oh, oh. Bryce, watch out, you're a married man. <laughs> We're gonna switch over to the GoPro, that way we can go back in the water. This is Landon's GoPro, curious to Landon for letting us borrow it. Left mine up in the hotel room. All right, what are you gonna do, round off? Try round off back. Round off back flip. First zone's gonna show us his round off. Oh, frick, I suck at these. Nice, but you gotta do it and send it. Prepare to laugh. <laughs> hey, that's better than I could do, so, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you dive right in the ground? No. <laughs> All right, we're body surfing right now. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. <laughs> that got me good. This footage is probably so shaky. I'm so cold. We're just a bunch of boys from Utah, man. We're not used to... Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, frick. All right, what's going on, guys? We are here in beautiful California, as you can see all around me. It is lit every single day. Dab on the haters. <laughs> we're heading back up to the hotel right now. All right, right now we are heading to get some dinner. They're just shredding the hallways, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here, this is our hotel. Right next to our hotel, there's a, a train track. And the train comes probably every, I don't know, so often. And so we're putting... Uh, coins down. And then we're gonna come back later tonight and we're gonna see if the coins are smashed. There is a train currently right down there, so it shouldn't be too long. And then the train will flatten out the coins and. Wait, that's not illegal, is it? No. Because, like, there's those coin machines that, like, at national parks and stuff. Those are sick. Where did all the other ones go? Like? Look at the quarter. Right there. So it did get smashed. I wonder if I got stuck on the wheel. We are just walking back to the hotel from dinner. We just went to a skate shop back there. I wish I could ride a skateboard. We're just chilling. This place is so nice. It's top notch. Currently back at the hotel. Sorry, today's been kind of jumpy. It hasn't been the most smooth vlog. I've been just super excited and I haven't had the camera out as much as I should and I wanted to have the camera out, but I don't know. But I'm gonna try better. We're gonna be here for a few more days, so uh, Bear with me and stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, guys, right now, uh, I don't know, I just had some stuff on my mind that I kind of wanted to say. I don't really know how to say this. It's kind of weird. Just thank you for all of you that come back and watch the videos. I know it may not seem like a big deal to you guys, or I know I'm not a big YouTuber. I only get like a few hundred views, and I'm very, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm grateful for that. That's, those are the people that have the interest to go watch my videos and take time out of their day to see what I'm doing. And I hope I've inspired some of you guys to go and just live life to the fullest. I mean, I try to get my buddies as much as I can, and you guys see it, uh, to go and just have fun and go find new things to do, meet new people. As, as we ride into up and down the coast, I challenged myself to see how many people I could say hi to and uh, say hi to everyone. And I only got one person or one group of people that just stared at me. I was like, what's up? And they just straight face just it's like, oh goodness, if you make a mistake, don't let that take you down. Just come back stronger and focus on the positives. Literally, if you do that, focus on the positives, don't focus on the negatives. Sometimes the negatives, if you focus on the negatives, sometimes they can turn into a positive. You have to really look at everything in the right mindset. And if you look at, at it in the right mindset, you will go places. That could definitely benefit you. If you're having a hard time in school and you're like, I hate this class, how is this gonna benefit me in the future? That's just because you're focusing on the negatives. Focus on the positives about, oh snap, maybe if I actually pay attention in class and try my hardest, this could be one of my hobbies and maybe something I wanna look forward to and go to college for and get an education about. A lot of the times I'll have to go back and look upon all the dumb decisions that I've made and focus on the positives in those and sometimes there aren't positives and that's when you just have to move on and uh, ask for advice from uh, mentors or your parents or 
leaders at your school. Get to know someone that you truly trust and you can talk to because if you really have a close relationship with someone that you can tell anything to, it's super relieving and it gets things off your chest to tell things that maybe are weighing you down and not letting you progress uh, in what your hobbies are or maybe in schoolwork or in a relationship with your friends. I know some of you guys watch my brother and sister-in-law, Tylan and Ali. They have a vlog channel that my brother runs while Ali runs her beauty channel. And they made a video about following your dreams. Don't let anything stop you. Find something you love and do it. Stick to that dream. One of my favorite points that Tylan made, he said, plan A. Your plan A is go for your dream. Your plan B, a lot of people would say, oh yeah, I'm gonna go for my dream, and if my dream doesn't work out, I have plan B, I'll go to college, or I'll do this, I'll do that. Your plan B is to find a way for plan A to work, and I love that. Some people don't know what they want to do, or they don't really have set goals or dreams yet, and that's totally fine. I found my passion uh, probably about a year ago when my brother gave me his camera and I opened up a whole new world. My dream is to create content that just brings happiness to people's lives, inspires them to do what they love, and it's crazy to me that so many people stop doing what they love because of some dumb comment that someone said. And that, that should not be the case in anyone's life. Why would you want to be working a nine to five job and you're hating life, but you need the money? Why would you want to be doing that if you could just work hard as a teenager to find your passion? And sometimes it doesn't come as a teenager, it takes years. But once you find your passion, go for it, run for it. Yes, you'll fail, but don't worry, get back up, come stronger, because if you do what you love, even if it's not as much money as what you were doing before, you will be happy, and that's that's the purpose of life, is to be happy, live life to the fullest, f focus on the positives, and it's sad to see so many people uh, do what their parents tell them to do, and their parents limit them. And I've been so blessed to have parents that don't limit me to what I love to do. They don't say, oh, you can't do that. I don't, I don't want you doing that. You should do this instead because we, we know that this will bring you happiness in the future. No, I know what's best for me and they realize that and they want to do everything they can in their power to help me. And I know that's not the case in everyone's life. Uh, and I know that that's a struggle in some people's lives. And that's just something you have to work through and find the positives and show them that that hobby of yours or that that love or that dream and passion that you have can get you somewhere in life if you work hard enough. I've been lazy and I, I mean I was consistent for a few months and but then I just got lazy and let laziness and uh, people at school telling comments to me about my what I love to do or about my YouTube and just mean things that shouldn't have got to my head because they were just dumb and they didn't have anything to back it up no real reason why I should stop and so I want to I really I really 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 enjoy doing this it's so fun to read everyone's comments and I love reading people's comments. So you guys need to just go down there and tell me your thoughts. Go and comment uh, if this video has maybe sparked something in you guys to go and do what you love or find that hobby. I don't know if you guys are watching this, the people that I'm about to talk about, but one of my friend's little brothers, Landon Esplin, uh, he started talking to me about how him and his friends watch my videos. And so that's like Gage Lewis, uh, and I'm not uh, sorry I, I don't know all your guys names but it's crazy I went on YouTube today and yesterday and you guys are making videos and I think that's awesome I don't know if that's like a hobby of your guys is but if that is and you found it at such a young age go for it don't let anything stop you uh, the, the younger you find it the more time you'll have to go and figure out how it can you how you can make it work things to cover tonight stay positive Okay, always stay positive. Don't let people 
what they tell you determine your future. Follow your dreams, stick to it, live life to the fullest, guys. I love you all so much. I know that this video was random. I know it's totally different from all my other videos, kind of just sitting down and being real talk. And I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna put this in the video because this was kind of an eye opener for me. Kind of just, it kind of baffles me how people are too scared to follow their dreams. And, and that, that's happened to me. I've been too scared to follow my dreams because of what other people think. And you know, I just don't care now because I know that I'm happy doing it. Wow, that is a super nice car. That is an Audi R8. Holy s And I'm serious about going and commenting. Uh, I mean, you don't have to comment. It's not like, comment down below, like you have to comment. No, but if you guys really uh, like this video and I wanna hear your thoughts, you can even message me if it wants to be private. You can go on my Instagram, the link's down below. I want to talk to some of you guys and uh, about your guys' dreams and what you guys want to do in the future. I might copy an idea from Thailand and Ali's vlog channel. They have a little series that lasts about a month and I kind of want to do that with my friends. That way it kind of mixes things up and it's not the same thing you watch every day. Oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and do this. Uh, I kind of want it to have a purpose while you're watching. It's not just, oh, this kid goes and goes to the lake and cliff jumps. That's cool. I mean, how is this benefiting me in any way? Why am I watching this? Like, I want it to be something you learn and you can apply in your life. Like, for example, today's video. I think this is one of the only videos that I have that you can actually kind of, it's kind of an eye opener to people. I mean, I don't know if it is. If it is an eye opener, uh, I would really like to know. I want to challenge myself to see how many times I can upload in the next month. I, for me, that's kind of a big commitment because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kinda lazy, and I wanna get over that laziness by working hard and trying to go for my dream. I shouldn't let laziness stop me, um, but first, or last, I know I've probably said last off, last thing I'm gonna say, but this is the last thing. I wanna thank all my amazing friends, I wanna thank my amazing family, and uh, my parents for never uh, shutting me down on what I want to do in life and actually helping me accomplish my goals. And I want to thank Tylan and Allie for always, every time I see them, they're always pushing me and pushing me to make more videos and trying to come up with content and I kind of just turn them away but I, I do listen to you guys and I just want to thank you guys so much, Tylan and Allie. I don't know if you guys are watching this. Uh, but you guys are amazing. I love you so very much. You guys are such a big example to me to follow your dreams. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. Actually, that's not what I'm gonna try to do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow my dreams. All right, so this is the end of the video. Smash that like button if, if you like this video. Comment down below or message me your guys' thoughts on this video and the type of setting, or not necessarily setting, but like the topic that we talked about tonight. If you're not subscribed, just, just go. Just go click down below and subscribe. And if you guys want to be notified every time I post a video, turn on my post notifications. But no matter where, oh my goodness, freaking train. I just want to end this. No matter where you are around the world, guys, life's a party. Peace.